Hey guys, and today I'm going to be covering off the first part of my seven uh, step framework to crushing digital marketing. So A is for audience. So basically the first step of crushing digital marketing is to understand your audience. Not only do you need to know who your audience is, but you need to know where they're actually living online. Is it that they're on Twitter? Is it that they're on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, and a million other websites that exist on the internet? Remember, marketing online is not just about the social platforms. It's about your website. It's also about what people are reading. Is your audience engaging with other famous websites and bloggers? Are they following certain influencers? Do you need to actually connect out with those influencers in order to get your brand and your product, service, or solution in front of, the, in front of that ideal audience? So the first thing you need to do is create your avatar or, or who your ideal client is. You need to know a very basic framework of who your ideal client is. Now what that will do is help you kind of understand that if you're going to do some advertising on a particular website, does a majority of their audience actually match your avatar? Um, your avatar basically needs to be a very simple framework to go, our ideal client, uh, and you basically give this avatar name. And within your business, you, you basically need to refer to, is this exercise going to meet with our avatar? So let's run with the example that the avatar is Jack. So you basically say that Jack is a 25 year old who is into programming, runs his own e-commerce web store, and enjoys long walks along the park, has uh, brown hair, dresses very hip, in t-shirts, um, basically is a hustler, likes to make money online, etc, etc. You get the drift. Now what that basically means is that if you've got this avatar and then all of a sudden you have an idea, let's create a brand, uh, let's create our brand on t-shirts. Now, if your avatar and your ideal client is someone who wears t-shirts, well then all of a sudden that idea has more merit. It also means that, you know, you get a better understanding of where are these people, where is your ideal client actually hanging out? It may actually be that your best, you know, idea of doing a, a marketing exercise is to run some spots, sponsored advertising on a local skate park um, in, in the local area that may give you the best return on investment. So you need to start thinking about digital marketing as a way of how do I get my message right in front of some in front of the eyeballs that I need to, to, to get in front of. The other thing to consider about audience is how do I get the best bang for buck? What do I need to do in regards to the, the way that the artwork may look like, the way that the message is, does it need to be a very quick call to action? Is it something that's gonna have a bit of a, you know, is it a call, you know, your call to actions, are they phone numbers, websites, is it QR codes? Basically, you, when you understand who your avatar is, if your avatar or ideal client was a 50 to 60 year old female who has worked in the professional industry or the uh, government services, you kind of know that, that that target market, if you're going to be marketed to them online, are not gonna know how to interact, now huge assumption, uh, with QR codes. Like most most of you know Gen Ys don't even know how to I interact with them. You gotta, you know, they're, they're complicated. So I, I guess you, you, you know that if the mark, your ideal client is in different segments, that it really changes the entire marketing message from the way that the artwork looks like, the message, the call to actions, the sense of urgency. Like a Gen Y sense of urgency is somewhat different to a, a baby boomer or someone in their more mature age, uh, you know, years of life. So very important to understand who your audience is, create this avatar. I know it sounds like a silly exercise, but you should actually have a little profile photo of this person, like what do they ideally look like? And it should be part of your marketing plan. The first part is meet Jack. Jack is X person who does X, enjoys X, does, you know, X, Y, and Z, you know, has a mobile, loves apps, downs, you know, the latest apps. Like you need to be very detailed in who your avatar is. So then when the rest of the marketing plan is executed, you go, you know, is this something that Jack would do? Uh, is this something that Mary would do? You know, and there's nothing wrong with having a couple of ideal clients and maybe different products and services in your business have different ideal clients or, or avatars. Um, 
So number one step in crushing digital marketing is to know your audience and know where they live. Where are their eyeballs stuck to 80% of the time? Because let's face it, even when they're, when they're driving, most of the time their eyeballs are not on the road, they're on an app, they're on a Snapchat, they're on a Twitter message, they're on an Instagram update. Uh, Instagram is also another interesting marketplace because the segment is now in 2016, early 2016, starting to grow. More and more people are getting onto Instagram. So it's changing the, the way that Instagram demographics are situated. It's kind of like what happened with Facebook uh, two, three, or probably about two years ago, where a lot of the baby boomers had started getting onto it. And this is when the Gen Y started getting off Facebook because all of a sudden their parents were there watching what they were doing. So they've moved to Snapchat. Um, you know, a platform where the, the baby boomers just don't get it. Um, so really be mindful about where are your audience and don't think that because you're looking at an infographic that was developed in 2014 uh, that says that Twitter has, you know, the best ideal for 17 to 24 year olds, that that's still exactly what it's like. You really need to research on the internet and there is a huge amount of information online that's relevant and real to understand who is where. So, you know, a simple search of knowing, uh, you know, what's, you know, what are the demographics on Twitter and find an infographic and make sure that it comes from a credible source and, and compare a few different resources and go, okay, well, well, my demographic is 24 year olds and female and this is what they're doing. Actually, you know what? They're on Etsy. They're all creating things at home. They're submitting things on Etsy and they're, they're being crafty and arty. All of a sudden, you know that if you're going to do a paid advertising campaign, that could be a segment that you kind of, kind of drill down to and say, I want this ad to show to anyone who also has an interest in Etsy or you can run ads on the Etsy website. So that's how, you know, how powerful it can get when you actually know who your audience is and more importantly, where their eyeballs are. So hopefully this uh, video gives you some insight into the wonderful world of A for audience. It's the first step of my framework. I truly believe that unless you know who your avatar is, uh, who your audience and where the bloody hell they are, uh, your digital marketing will not be successful. So today was A. Stay tuned for tomorrow and the rest of the days as I go through the A to G seven step framework to crush your digital marketing. I'm Ray Miladoni and remember that you always need to sharpen your saw to stay razor sharp.